In this video, we will show you how to properly cable your Neptune Shade Series Outdoor TV. Proper cabling is essential to the lifespan of your outdoor TV. Not only does it protect your smart devices, but also protects it from outdoor elements such as rain, dust, bugs, and it also ensures that your one-year manufacturer warranty is not voided. To begin proper cabling, make sure your outdoor TV is lying face down on a soft, flat surface. Begin removing the eight screws with a Phillips screwdriver and then remove the terminal cover. You will now have access to the input compartment. Here you will see all the available ports for your devices and cable. The Neptune TV has audio output for analog and digital devices like DVD players and sound bars, CVBS inputs for composite video, left and right audio inputs, Y, PB, CB, and PR, CR component inputs, an output for an IR repeater to control third-party devices, RS-232 inputs, two USB ports to play content like audio or video files and power small five volt devices within the input compartment, TV antenna slash cable port, and three HDMI ports. For this application, we will be installing a Roku stick, but we also be installing a coaxial cable to show how the cables should run through the input compartment. The Neptune Outdoor TV is compatible with leading smart devices such as Amazon Fire Stick, Google Chromecast, and Roku device, so you're able to choose your preferred smart device. You are also able to power your preferred smart device within the input component. All you have to do is plug it into an HDMI port, plug your power cord into a USB port, and you are all set. The Neptune Outdoor TV comes equipped with an IR repeater function. This enables the user to control a third-party IR device with the Neptune TV. The Neptune TV allows the onboard IR receiver to accept not only TV commands, but commands from any IR device. To install the included IR repeater cable, you will need to attach the IR emitter end of the cable into the IR receiver location of the device that you are controlling. This next step is extremely important to ensure you do not damage your Neptune Shade Series TV. Once all of your devices and cables have been connected, run the cables down the bottom of the compartment and across the foam gasket located here at the base of the television. This is the only way to allow the cover to properly seal. All cabling must run through the bottom of the input compartment. Failing to do so will not allow you to properly seal the cover and will cause damage to the TV by allowing moisture inside the compartment and will potentially damage the cables due to excessive pinching. The next step is to reinstall the back cover. Standard outdoor TV covers are typically made out of metal, which weakens Wi-Fi signals. The Neptune Shade series is optimized with our FreePath technology, which allows Wi-Fi signals to easily connect to your smart devices. Now, using the guides on the back of the TV, securely replace your cover and tighten down all remaining screws. Be sure not to over tighten and that all of your edges are sitting flush. Please note that if the input cover does not sit flush or you have cables exiting anywhere other than the bottom of the compartment over the foam gasket, you must go back and redo your cabling to ensure that you can properly seal your Neptune Shade TV from the elements. You have now completed proper cabling for your Neptune Outdoor TV and you are finally ready to mount your new Neptune Outdoor TV.